Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Buenas tardes, damas y caballeros. Hope everyone is doing and feeling well out there. I'm here to talk briefly about the process of mitosis, which is in a nutshell, an activity that causes cell division. But before I do, I'm gonna go over some of the terms and pieces that make mitosis possible. For example, there are two different types of cells that humans have. For the purpose of this video, I will only be referencing one. The cell that I'm talking about is a somatic cell. Somatic cells are also called body cells because they're because there are cells that make up our body parts. Parts such as bone, organs, hair, fat, and other part, body parts are all made up of somatic cells. When the body needs to restore or grow tissues, somatic cells need to split up. This new tissue or new cells are created through an activity called cell division. Cell division in somatic cells usually happens through mitosis. It's for this very reason that I'm only going to be referencing somatic cells. The process starts off with a cell that contains two chromosomes. That's kind of what I've had this whole time on the camera. So this would be a cell with two chromosomes. One is inherited from the father and the other one is inherited from the mother. This is called a diploid cell. In order for cell division to take place, it first has to duplicate its genetic material. So this genetic material being the information that has either from the father or the mother has to get copied. So at the time of duplication, each chromosome is doubled. So, and it would end up looking something like this after the doubling. The chromosomes, now with two chromatids, line up in the middle of the cell. And that'll start looking something like this. Then the, the chromatids are pulled apart as a cell starts to divide. That's these guys beginning pulled apart. So it's a chromosome here, chromosome here, and they're starting to be pulled apart into two different cells. The cell's pinch is closed and the chromosomes move to the opposite ends of the cell and two nuclei are formed. So that's these getting pulled apart, getting pushed to each end of the cell and they're beginning to pinch right here in the middle. You're going to have two of these that are going to be individual at the end. And we end up with two identical daughter cells. Well, I hope this was informative to all of you. I'm trying to do something to be able to explain this a little bit better and in the process teach myself. So thanks guys. Have a good one.